You might have experienced that uploading a large file take fair amount of time. So let's say if the file size is pretty big, then it takes pretty long time to upload the file in your S3 bucket or in a folder. Typically, if your file size is more than 100 MB, you should not upload it in one go. You should use something called multi-part upload. So what does this multi-part upload do? It basically breaks the file and upload the file in parts, as simple as that. Let's say I have this big file of some size. So what we can do is that we can break the file into multiple pieces and then upload them parallelly in the S3 bucket. So that's what multi-part upload does. The important thing is that you can upload the parts in any order. So either you do it one by one, maybe we do it part three first and then part two and then part one and then part four or any order for that matter. Order does not matter for multi-part upload. Why is the case? Because we send the file to S3, assembles the file before putting it in the bucket. As we send the file to S3, it is S3's job to assemble the file put it in a proper format in the bucket. And another advantage is that if let's say one of the part fails, only that part can be retried. So imagine you are uploading a file of size 200 gigabytes or 200 GB. And if you do that using console, you have to make sure that your console is up and running. Your machine or laptop does not go to sleep and you are, your network is always up and running. So that might be a little difficult. So what you can do is you can break the break the file into pieces and then upload them parallelly. And if you see that if one of the parts or multiple parts have failed, you can start only that, those parts, not the entire file. And as a best practice, it should be used when object size is more than 100 MB. Now, how do you do multi-part multi uplo upload? Is there a straightforward command? The answer is no. There are a few steps that you have to take care of while doing multi-part upload. So if you are using an SDK to do multi-part upload, let's say you are writing Java code or Python code or JavaScript or something else, then you can put all these steps in the SDK. You run the program once and the program will take care of it. But if you are using a CLI, which you will do, I'll be showing you the multi-part upload in command line interface. In that case, you have to do all the steps manually or you'll have to create a script. So the first step is that you have, will have to break the file into parts. That is something we have to do. This is our responsibility. And let's say you can use commands like split, which are readily available in all the Linux distributions. In this case, I'm splitting a file and each file split size would be 15 megabytes, 50 megabytes rather. Then we'll have to initiate the multi-part upload. And this is an S3 command. Split is not an S3 command. That's a Linux command. But initiating multi-part upload is an S3 command and we use AWS S3 API, create multi-part upload. So this is the command that we use. Of course, there are a lot of other options, which I'll show you in the hands-on. And what happens is whenever we use this command, this is sent to S3 API and S3 returns with something called an upload ID. So S3 gives us the upload ID because this is an unique identifier for a particular upload. And the assembling that S3 would do would be based on this upload ID. So that's why the upload ID is very important. So we get the upload ID and then we upload the parts in parallel. So and this is the command AWS S3, A S3 API upload part followed by the upload ID. And going forward all the in all the commands will have to mention the upload ID. Because otherwise S3 will not know which upload you are doing. Okay, so then you send it to S3 and then you have to list the parts, what parts are there. And then we make sure the to complete the multi-part upload with the upload ID. And when you complete it, only then all the parts are sent parallelly one by one and S3 receives them and then assembles them at the end. And it is done by S3 automatically. So let's see that in action. So I'll be using maybe this file order items new dataset underscore two dot CSV and I'll be uploading it to the bucket directly, which is A3IM S3 bucket. Now, instead of just uploading directly, I'll be using multi-part upload. So the first thing that I have to do is that I'll have to break this file and that is something that we have to do. So I'll be using the split command. 
and this is the command split dash b and each split would be of size 100 mb that's what i have mentioned not 50 mb so now what it will do it will go ahead and split the file and the name would be pretty different it will be something like xa xb etc so as you can see you have these many files x00 x01 etc etc and each file is of size 100 mb so we have approximately 16 parts now we can upload these 16 parts parallelly so what i have to do is that i'll have to start aws s3 api command okay so user local bin is not there so what will what will i do is i'll export the path so now only aws s3 api would work so now i'll be creating this multi-part upload and it should give me an upload id so this is the upload id and this is very important for this particular upload as i said if you use aws python sdk or java sdk or any other programming language we do not have to copy or paste these things the program would take care of it but as as i'm using command line interface that's why i'm i'll have to copy and keep it safe and now what i'll have to do is that i'll have to upload all the parts one by one so starting from x00 to x15 again of course you can change the name of the file okay this is the command and there are a few things which are important first thing is that we, as you can see i'm using upload part command followed by the name of the bucket and the key which is basically the file and then i'm mentioning the part number and the part number is one here and in body i'll have to mention the name of the file in my local machine so in this case the first part is basically x00 that's why i have mentioned x00 and then i'm mentioning the upload id it is the same upload id that i have received here right so now what i'll have to do is that i just press this and i'll have to upload all the parts one after the other so let me do that because there are 16 parts so let me upload all these parts i'll let me run all the commands and then i'll come back so i have executed this upload part command 16 times because we have 16 split of the same file now once i do that once it is complete i'll have to run something called list parts and i'll have to put it in a file but before that let me show you the output of the list parts it should list all the parts and its corresponding file so now if i execute this i'm getting an error that no such upload but there is an upload id which we got so this is the upload id right the error says that the specified upload does not exist the upload id may be invalid but this is the same upload id that i had used to create the multi-part upload and run the upload parts command so to find that there is one more command called list multi-part uploads i'll have to mention uh, this along with the bucket and the name of the bucket is again whatever bucket that we are using and there are two uploads as you can see upload id this is the first upload id and this is the second one i had created this some time back now if you see let us match this so basically the upload id is matching and still we are getting the error now why we are getting the error the key is orders new dataset one dot csv and this is the display name and it was initiated by this particular role which is the role that is associated with the ec2 instance now one thing is that the key is orders new data set here but here i have mentioned order items new data set so this is the problem the key itself is wrong so if i change the key then it should work and that's all we have here now let me go ahead and run the list parts again with the proper key and i should get some output so and this is the output as you can see i have approximately 16 parts which is correct and few other information but the purpose here is to put the output in a certain form and in json format and to get the form i'm mentioning this particular option and you can just copy and paste it i have mentioned it in the command sheet and now i will put this in an output file and i'll name the output file as the file name followed by json 
so it is done now if i look at the output file it has only the part number and e tag and that should be enough now uh, the final step is to complete the multi-part upload and the command is complete multi-part upload i'll have to mention dash dash multi-part upload followed by a file name and this is the same file name wherein we, i have put the output of the list parts command and the remaining things are the same the bucket name and followed by key and followed by the same upload id now what it has done it has completed the upload because it was done parallelly it happened really fast even with 1.5 gb of file size now let me go to the bucket and refresh it i should be able to see the files which have been uploaded as you can see this is the file which is of size 1.5 gb but it got uploaded really fast because we used multi-part upload and now i think there's one more multi-part upload that i had used earlier and it is actually a non-complete one so what i can do is that i can go ahead and abort this multi-part upload and for that i'll have to use the abort multi-part upload command provide and then i'll have to provide the bucket name the key and the upload id so the upload has been multi-part upload has been aborted now if i list i should not be able to see any of the multi-part uploads so this is how you can use multi-part upload to upload a very large object in a very less amount of time so as you have seen it did not take me too much of time to upload the 1.5 gb file to the s3 bucket because it i was using 100 megabytes of parallel files let me reiterate the steps first you'll have to split the file and then you'll have to create multi-part upload which will give you an upload id so you'll have to use that upload id for all the following operations after that you'll have to upload individual parts using the upload parts command and of course you'll have to provide the upload id along with it so once all the parts are uploaded we'll have to use that list parts command in a certain form and put it in an output file in json format so once that is done we'll have to run the complete multi-part upload command and i'll have to provide the file and the upload id along with other keywords like bucket and key and then the multi-part upload would be completed 